All right, it's time now for your science buzz. Stories creating a buzz in the world of science. Let's start off with this. Space lovers, clear your calendars because tomorrow night NASA is going to bring a rocket into an asteroid. Smash a rocket into an asteroid and you can watch it live. NASA plans on smashing a spacecraft head into the asteroid and they're hoping this mission will slow it down and keep it from colliding with a larger asteroid. Now this is called the DART mission and it's focused on real world testing of how to protect Earth from actual threats, planetary threats that would be moving in. NASA believes being able to redirect asteroids ever so slightly could be a major step forward for its planetary defense programs. And parents, the struggle is getting, of course, real to eat your kids vegetables, but that struggle may have started long before the dinner table. There's new research that finds that some of the food kids like may actually have started in the womb. In the study, moms were given either a carrot flavored pill or a kale flavored pill or a plain one. And researchers did a 40 ultrasound. That's when they noticed babies who tasted carrots ended up smiling and the ones who maybe tasted kale made more of a little bit of a cry face. I think this is fascinating, but I don't think everybody hates kale. All right, there will be a special site tomorrow to behold tomorrow night for astronomers. Jupiter will be closer to us than usual. Officials at NASA say this will be the nearest that the largest planet in our solar system has been to Earth in nearly six decades. The best place to get a view of the planet is at a high elevated spot in a dark and dry area, so might be a good night tomorrow night to get away from the city and head up to the North Georgia mountains. And we should have great weather for that. By the way, also happening in the space world, of course, uh, NASA announced that their Artemis mission they have decided they're going to have to put a pause on the launch of that because of this. This is Tropical Storm Ian, which this morning has winds of 50 miles per hour that gusts to 65 moving west northwest at 12 miles per hour. And the track of Ian is still kind of up in the air for where that landfall is going to be. I want to show the official cone of uncertainty from the National Hurricane Center noticed by already Tuesday morning. This is going to be a major hurricane. Why? It's going to undergo something called rapid intensification between later today and early Tuesday, becoming a major hurricane passing over western Cuba. Then that cone of uncertainty widens later on the week. You notice right now this has landfall anywhere from the west coast of Florida, so near Pensacola, all the way down to close to Fort Myers. This is a huge area that landfall could happen in. There's still a lot of uncertainty with our models this morning. I would say a little bit more uncertainty than usual, and the reason why is tropical systems do not have their own steering wheels. They don't know where to go. So weather models are trying to figure out, is it going to be pushed more to the east, influence more to the west? Look at the models this morning. The spaghetti models would show it really that whole big stretch along the Gulf Coast that could end up seeing that landfall location. Now, what would it mean after landfall? Well, it doesn't matter what path it ends up taking. Ultimately, we'll likely see these are two different models, some influence of tropical moisture for us. So late in the week, you'll notice on my seven day, we have higher rain chances that will be moving in. But what to take away? It's going to be a significant hurricane. The trend has been a little further west of the models, but we still don't know where this will ultimately make landfall.